Hi everyone and welcome to the Doherty safe house garage. We're now in San Fierro to see my collection there. Let's see what I have. Oh, for goodness sake, the garage is being annoying again. Yeah, this happens sometimes when you cram the game with vehicles. It just doesn't load very well. But at least if you run away from the garage and come back, this problem normally fixes itself. Right. Comprehensive proof savannah. Exclusive color black stretch. Exclusive color yellow burrito. And a fireproof damage proof rumble. Right, the Comprehensive Proof Savannah I got from the Photo Opportunity Mission. It's one of my more recent videos, so if you haven't seen it, you better see it. Because this is a lot better than the Fireproof, Explosion Proof, Bulletproof Savannah from the High Stakes Low Rider. As you can see, it's fully crash proof, damage proof if you like. Um, now I'll show you the bulletproof thing. I don't think there's a fuel tank, so I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. Let's just shoot the bonnet. As you can see, not much is happening definitely bulletproof because that's a full-on m4 right fireproofing there we go and now explosion proofing so that's caesar's car in comprehensive proof form pretty epic i have to say oh no garage just doing it again sorry guys it's gonna happen in a few of my videos right it's really being annoying also remember I will do the special vehicle videos for everything, it will just take quite a lot of time because there are many vehicles as you know. There we go, now I'll get the um, fireproof damage proof rumpo out next. It's quite a weird vehicle this because it used to be heavy, but unfortunately you can't save heavy vehicles in San Andreas. You can only have them temporarily, but you can't store them in garages without the heavy property disappearing. So this is just fireproof and damage proof. As you can see it didn't dent. It's not bulletproof or explosion proof. Ah, stupid garage yet again. It's really not liking me the dirty garage at the moment. Right, the exclusive color black stretch cannot be modded from a normal stretch because the bottom half is always white for a normal stretch. So, you know, you can't fully customize a normal stretch to be all black will only be half black you could say because the bottom bit will always be white since um, there's only one color option and that's the top half of the limo sure you get the point yellow burrito cannot be modded at all so it's a complete unique color transfender will not mod it so and this was the van that mike torino was in which is quite cool so the stretch was from the um ice cold killer mission and this was from the mike torino mission Pretty nice surprises, actually. I'm just going to use the burrito to get to the next garage, because the next garage is very close, and also the burrito's a good van anyway. It's pretty fast, and also you get to see a bit more of, you know, the yellow colour of it, I guess. It's quite a nice colour, actually. Now, in this garage, you're going to laugh your head off what I have. It's so brilliant. This is the big garage of um, San Fierro, so... That's probably going to give you a hint of what sort of vehicles are going to be in here. Yeah, I think you've guessed it. Anyway, let's see what happens. Let me get it out of the way. There we go. Comprehensive proof tanker trailer, bulletproof tanker, comprehensive proof fire truck, and a comprehensive proof box fill. Yeah, it's a pretty serious collection, this. I discovered how to get the comprehensive proof fire truck on the console versions of GTA San Andreas. I've made a video on how to get it, so if you haven't seen it, you must watch it. Since it's my first discovery in GTA San Andreas, it's actually helped the community. I think I may have made another discovery as well, but we'll have to see. Anyway, I can't really show damage proofing because it doesn't really dent, but I can assure you it is. There's the fuel tank, fully bulletproof, fireproof, and yeah, the usual. Explosive proofness. It's coming up. And yeah, the cops decide to get involved, and all I'm doing is a fireworks show. In a sort of funny way, you could say. I'm not even trying to harm anyone, but yeah. I'll get the box fill out next. Box fill is fully comprehensive proof as well. I've made a video on how to get it. It's from the T Bone Mendez mission, just like the comprehensive proof FCR 900 we saw earlier. It's very difficult to get, so it does require a bit of patience, but also the cool thing about the box fill is it's got these boxes in the back. You can actually, um, you can crash the box fill and the back doors will open up and you can see the boxes in the back. 
I think they're full of cocaine or something like that because you had to steal this from a bunch of gangsters. As you can see, it's fully bulletproof. Well, you didn't have to steal it from a bunch of gangsters, but you know, you encountered the van where the gangsters were. So they used it to transport the stuff. As you can see, explosion proof. Pretty epic collection in this garage, eh? Right, and this tanker is bulletproof only. I'll show you now. There we go. And this is what the tanker looks like. Now I'm going to show you the comprehensive proof tanker trailer. I'll show you that you cannot destroy this tanker trailer unless you tip it upside down. Because there literally is no other way to destroy it. Bullets do nothing. I got this tanker trailer from the tanker commander mission. I was going to uh, make a video on it, but I thought that I wouldn't get such a demand for it. But I'm surprised by how many people want to get this thing. So I will make a video on it soon, as I can. I'm not anywhere near the mission anymore, but um, I can do the video as soon as I can, I promise. It was a tricky vehicle to get because you only had the Doherty safe house garage you could possibly store it in. And even that's too small, so it got really tricky. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to get the trailer out of the garage. It's quite cool. I have my own personal truck with the tanker the trailer. Really epic. And there we go. I can just take it wherever I want and connect it. Ah, now that ain't right. Pretty cool stuff. And that's pretty much where I got it from. I got both the tanker and the tanker trailer from the tanker commander mission. Um, I've already made a video on how to get the tanker. It's very easy. The trailer is pretty difficult, so I'll have to make a video on it quite soon. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And thanks for watching.